You quit your job as no, a result? No, Your Honor. This racist, she had these. She had these on the desk when I came in in the morning. What are those? Cotton branches. I saw them in a day in yeah, our art, these arts and shop, arts and craft store. store. I thought they were pretty. I did not mean anything by them. Where, Where are you from? I'm from Southern California. Oh, okay. What, what was really going on? Uh, she was. Do I look like I was going yesterday? Physical. Do I look that way? I know I look good for my age. <laughs> but do I look like I was born yesterday? Well, I just thought they were right, pretty. consistently bringing fried chicken and watermelon. I brought fried Two chicken. Two things I like. Okay? But then you bring in cotton. I mean, what were you trying to do? I was just trying to spruce up my side of the um, cubicle. Just a little bit. I didn't really have that much. Didn't need decorations on there. And her side has decorations on it as well. You know what? Don't BS me. I don't like people to play with me. I meant nothing okay. by the cotton branches. You might have I just thought they were pretty. You might this 20-something year old, but you're not playing with me. Okay? I didn't mean anything You were systematically them. doing something I was not. that looks... That, don't argue with me, because guess what? When you argue with me, you will never win, okay? Never win. Why didn't you go and talk to your supervisor about it? It was too late. Your Honor, she so had... I do not say another word. It was too late. Why? Security was escorting me off because I threw the cotton at her. So you you got escorted out of the the, the job because you threw the fire at her. You should have been bringing a lawsuit against your employer. The forty eight hundred dollars is the eight amount eight. of income you lost until you found a new job. Yes, is your that Honor. correct? And you had worked there for two years. Yes, Your Honor. With nothing wrong, nothing happened wrong. Never had anything. And how long had you worked there? I worked there for two and a half years. Right. And it isn't true that she's had nothing wrong. I don't know how her quote is or anything like that. You but systematically bought boxes has a hot do head. not argue with me because guess what? You go to jail because I have the power. I'm not just wearing a robe. I am a judge. Yes, I ran Honor. for my seat. I got sworn into office, okay? So don't play with me, little girl. Do not play with me. Yes, Your Honor. Well, those ones say. Don't say another word. I hope they don't have fried chicken for lunch today. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. You systematically brought in boxes of fried chicken. Racist stereotype. Shut up. I didn't mean Shut anything. Shut up. You systematically brought in watermelon. Stereotype. I like watermelon. You system and then you the coup de gras was that you bought in I like watermelon. Okay, not roses, carnations, gardenias, peonies, exactly. But a cotton spray. I'm ready to roll. If I had already jurisdiction to award more than what you were asking for, I would award you a whole lot more than four thousand eight hundred dollars. And I hope after this you will be bringing some sort of federal action against your employer for wrongful termination of employment. You, you, you're going to come up against the wrong somebody someday, girl. The wrong somebody in the wrong place. And you may not be standing here to talk about it. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $4,800. Good luck. To Thank you, you Your Honor. Judge Karen has ruled in favor of the so plaintiff. The defendant win. is ordered to pay $4,800. I'm glad you got what you deserve. The judge saw it my way. I would have still been working there if it wasn't for you. I didn't mean to hurt you. I'm sorry. Sure you are. And coming up.